My name is David Mitchell Finn, um, 37 years old. I advise you to, if you want to pull up, I live in Denver, Colorado. If you want to pull up my, um, for lack of a better term, a criminal record, I advise you to do that because you'll see the harassment and targeting throughout my life of the false accusations that I've had to deal with growing up. It's an extensive record on file that I will never expunge because it's just too important information to erase. It's silly for people to to um, clear their past criminal histories because it's actually documentation for the, the ritual targeting and the gang stalking carried out by the United States military, the NSA, and the CIA, and the hidden secret societies who control the banking cartels and the governments and the, all the militaries worldwide. So this is more documentation of my torture by, the, by these organizations. I'm off I'm off a I'm coming off a severe headache another severe headache so I'm being I'm currently being attacked with direct energy weapons through radio frequencies and 5G towers it's been a non-stop attack Ever since I got about halfway through my YouTube cha uh, content. Uh, here's the YouTube page of mine. So about halfway through my content. I started. They 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 amped up their attacks to phys uh to radio frequency um direct energy weapon attacks on me. Let's see. I, I kind of so I know this video, uh, the Kunda's report. Could you see the? Yeah, you can see the cursor. Well, actually, right before that, they blocked a. Uh, they blocked that content. So yeah, right around this time is where they started. Um, the on well, through the YouTube channels where they started the online harassment. Um, they deleted a video where I didn't, where I called into question a, a shooting that seemed to that just seemed like it was a weird story. So they hurry and deleted the video. I'm like, I didn't really even say anything. And then I released the Kunda's report, and that's when they hacked my computer and disabled my video editing program. Well, you know what? See, this is, yeah, because I, when I did this video, I was playing this... I said the word synagogue of Satan and I played it backwards in the video editing program and it came out to sound like anonymous. That was when anonymous was big. So I said, that's fucking crazy. If you say, if you say the synagogue of Satan backward, if you play it backwards, it sounds like it's saying anonymous and that's with that video editing program. So again, that's right where it that's basically at the point a little sooner after, not too much later after that, they de they disabled that video editing program. So this is actually one of, I think maybe these, yeah, that's probably one of the last videos because I'm, so what they're doing is, is that I'm putting too much information together on YouTube. So they disabled, they basically aren't like, they're, these are like, Nobody's really seeing this content. If it was, I would be getting co this older content. Like they're not showing it to anybody. And then they get, they're getting so mad that they're starting to do this direct energy weapon attack barrage on me. I haven't been doing the videos and they're still doing the direct energy, um, assault, um, 
phys- it's a physical attack. So like it's like you can't physically see direct energy weapons, but it's causing physical harm to me. Get the sound up real quick if I even could. And that's all I'm, it's my own voice played backwards. I'm saying the cynic. I don't even know how I caught that. I was doing some other research, but it's, it's clearly says anonymous. So I was like really surprised. So that's like to the, to them, that's giving up way too much information because it's the truth and they don't, they'll, they'll, everything you see through media is nothing but lies. Like every fucking thing whether it's comedy whether it's sports whether it's politics whether it's new the news like even the locals like people can't comprehend all this information but i can so apparently because i'm intelligent they want to eliminate me basically and here's a perfect proof of that sort of information because to me that just says everything I need to know. And like other people may hear this and say, Oh, it's stupid. It's just a coincidence or it's a conspiracy. But those people aren't researching this stuff. As soon as you like get serious about your, first of all, you need to have a basic education and understanding of how the world actually works and science and mathematics and, history just all ba- just basic education like and a lot of people even people who graduate college like they just fucking weasel their way through that degree and they really didn't learn a lot i don't know how these people are even making it to that point but it's all about mk ultra mind control and programming and all that but it's just i'm not gonna get into all that because people clearly aren't understanding the shit i'm saying because if they did I would have a little small group of people that were loyal to my content and that communicate with me. And that's just not happening at all. And then anytime somebody does reach out to me, like either they're like some sort of agent or they like clearly don't fully understand because the shit they'll say to me is like, that's not even like true. Like it's not even close to the information I'm putting out. Like, why are you trying to bring other youtube like half truths and then try to say tell them to me like if you pay attention to my content you know i don't believe in half truths and all that crap So I don't understand how you play that backwards and you get the word anonymous out of that. But they understand that because it's all by design. But anyway. So after that, it was like, and especially this video, because I talked a lot of shit in this video because I was so mad about what they were doing. This is where uh, the God and the Ten Commandments, this is where they really picked up the physical harassment um is because i was like fuck them and saying all this stuff because of i re- like this is where i realized how bad the torture was on me so this is basically at the point where they started doing um they amped up their torture and their attack on me they're at war with me and i guess in their eyes um, and then later on is where then eventually they did the headache, the massive headaches. So if anybody tries to say, cause I don't know what my future holds with these headaches. Cause it's just starting to get like pretty bad. Um, so I don't know if they're planning on just killing me through, um, I've seen that they're planning on probably eliminating me through the medical field and they'll just say blame it on some disease, which they do to a lot of people. And then you would just write it off. Oh, well, he had something wrong with him. That's why, you know, so I could see that already coming. Um, But I'm just documenting like 
you couldn't tell me that halfway through my YouTube content, all of a sudden I just started getting these massive headaches. I would do a, a video and a lot were live streams. I would do like a live stream video and then I would get off and like no, like very soon after I would just start getting these really bad headaches and they would just turn into massive headaches and then they would turn into um, 12 hour long headaches and then 24 hour long headaches and then I would sleep 12 hours then I would sleep 16 hours. What they did before I did the YouTube content like before I kind of knew about all this, like I would be sleeping like 14, 18 hours and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why am I sleeping? And and now I know it's their direct energy weapon assault. So this is just documentation that you, if, if I end up dead or with some serious illness, like it was brought on by them. And I know that it's not because I, I live a very, I eat very healthy. I don't do drugs and I don't drink. I don't, I don't really do much of anything. I eat organic food. Um, so this is just documentation to say that I noticed that a change in halfway through my content um, of these headaches. And I'm like I said, I'm 37 years old. And for 35 years of my life, I've never had any headaches like that. And it's just out of nowhere this has come about so and I'm gonna document some more stuff in this cause I'm just sick of these fucking people and their headaches like they're they're just fucking sick people like I just can't believe how sick these people are who, who are running the, the the world um you would think that they'd be better people than that but they're clearly the, it's opposite of what you think. You think people in control are good people, and it's just, it's just, I just don't understand. The, it had to be generation after generation of, like, just, like, these people have mental illnesses, and unfortunately, like, I don't know if it's, like, inbreeding or whatever the fuck is going on in them, but they're at a point where they're, like, really... F the, they're like really fucked up in the head and they have full control and it's just not a good combination, right? Imagine people with psychopaths who have co complete control of whatever they get to do. And they're not scary, they're just fucking cowards. Like that's like, because they probably, when you call them psychopaths, they like, they puff their chest up, you know what I mean? They're just fucking pussies is what they are, you know what I mean? But they hide and they have everybody else do everything for them. So um, when they have complete control and they just hand somebody a stack of money and the people will do whatever for them, you know, and, and then they don't have to, there's no consequences for their actions. Like, they're, you're not bad dudes, you know what I mean? You don't fucking frighten me, that's for damn sure. You ain't putting no fear in me. That's for damn sure. And you know it too with your mind reading fucking devices. Well, let me go. Let me do something real quick with these. Uh, just the symbology. Because I'm going to get into to the numbers and the symbology to show proof that I'm being attacked. Although if you go to the, any of their court systems, they're going to fucking, oh, that's not real evidence because that's, it's their system, right? Could you imagine like, it just, it just, like if I had full control and I, if I was like, and this is just an example, if I was like this massive child molester and I had full control of like, say we lived in a tribe in a, in a village, right? And then we said, well, child molesters get put to death uh, by hanging or something. And that was the law of our tribe, right? And and we lived in the middle of nowhere. And I was the ruler of this tribe. And I was this massive fucking child molester. But I was the head of the court who put people to death. So somebody trying to present evidence against me putting me to death, how's that going to come out, right? It's like... Nothing you say or do is going to fucking, 
convince myself to to put myself to death, right? It's kind of like this is like this is what you're up against with these people. Like you can't go to any organization and have any real outcome. Like they control the court systems. Like what are you going to do? You're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to win with these people. That's why it's a game, right? It's all documented um are everything in writ- written all their laws and stuff, it's all a game, and they have every way around their laws, right? It's a rigged game, so you can't really win, beat beat them. Like, you know how they have the chess, and then you could play against the computer, and you could always up the up the um, computer's um, um, Abil- uh, difficulty level right it's like the computer will always beat you in chess like if you have it at the maximum level unless you knew every move in chess and like maybe you knew how to manipulate the computer but you could only end up like I don't know if you could even beat them right it's just the same thing it's, it's a game all these games the laws are a game. it's just a big game to them and they come up with laws and they have the way to beat the law already so for people to say like, well, why don't you go take them to court and stuff like there's that's that's just like a dead end in my opinion right now. It's like, why you can't beat them at their game? Why why play their game with them? So real quick, cause with this NSA, just to do- say something real quick. So like if you like, cause if it, they'll put all the answers in the symbolism and everything, like they'll put it in the numbers, they'll put it in the color coordinations. And it's really, you don't have to be that smart to see it. You just have to fucking wake up from the illusion and and cut your programming and your brainwashing off. Once you could accept that you've been deceived and that the information you've been given is completely false and that you've been tricked and duped for your whole life, once you could accept that, then you could progress and move on and understand what's really going on. But nobody, they have everyone so petty and programmed and so immature like everybody's literally like a grown ass little kid and it's like fucking sad and unfortunate and it's pretty pitiful to be honest with you but that's why you see all these truth movements and they just are like misled like half of their information's correct and the other half is so wrong that there's just no like saving them and then you'll meet somebody in one of these truth communities and they're so fucking brainwashed they think they have all the answers finally the answers don't come easy. You have to put the work in. You have to study and you have to examine content and you have to think critically and logically for yourself. And that takes effort. And a lot of people, think they get the lazy answer. Like the, this education and understanding of the world, it's not easy. It takes a lot of effort. It took me over 30 something years before I actually even started looking into shit. 30 years of my life was just fucking caught in a fucking deception and illusion and and um, not really understanding. And then I finally, it took like a massive... So what ended up happening is the mother of my children, when she left me and went all crazy, uh, went all wild... Um, when we were children, she ended up getting... I'm just going to move on and get to what I was going to say with this. She ended, If you look at this logo, you see the two stars. And they're, they're specific stars, right? How they have the black and white. Like it's like a 3D label star. I didn't realize at the time, but when my baby's mom... before, Or when the mother of my children, before she left me... Or before we had children... She went and got these two stars tattooed on her shoulders. And I just had no clue it was the NSA symbolism. And this was a big, big, like a time around the Patriot Act. And when they were fucking doing, like, I know they mur- they had my friend set up and murdered based off of the Patriot Act information. Not because I've studied the Patriot Act and what it in- entails or, or whatever, but because of just the symbolism and stuff. Um... So I know that there there's all kinds of like it's legalized illegal activity I would imagine in the Patriot Act like spying on phone conversations um because I know they were spying on my phone conversations which I think that 
ultimately led to them killing my setting my friend up to be executed it's capital punishment and it's fucking ridiculous like these people they belong in prison at the least you know because there were so in the past there was there was just like I could look think back of, of some phone calls and I say yeah I think they took those phone calls and they determined that they were gonna fucking kill my have my friend murdered after that but anyways with my so now looking back at the mother of my children and you could go meet her and find her for herself and say let, let me see the tattoos on your shoulder she has these same fucking stars on her shoulders so now seeing this on the NSA it's just another example from that time period of this um the terrorism committed by the NSA and the CIA like everyone around me everyone's involved with drugs like everyone and people and stupid people who watch us say oh you're a snitch and that's so stupid to say that but if they want to say you oh you're snitching about drugs everyone around me is involved with drugs like i know so many fucking people and it's and it's they're making us kill ourselves with poison is what the fuck it is and people don't even fucking can't, can't even comprehend or understand that and it's just sickening to see this minority community just flood it with drugs they don't do this to white people why why are they not doing this to white people you could go in Colorado you could go to white neighborhoods and everything's fucking great there's no drugs Nothing going on. But as soon as you go to the colored communities, it's just fucking a complete opposite. It's fucking the sickest form of racism that you could imagine. And it's being carried out by the NSA, the CIA, the United States military. Like, this shit's fucking sickening, you know? So yeah, no the 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 tattoos of, of that uh, the mother of my children got fit this NSA symbolism and the death of my friend fit the fit the Patriot Act. So there's two, those are two things around the time of the Patriot Act that occurred that I could just put together right away that okay I'm being targeted and um we're being systematically eliminated and tortured by the United States military and their fucking cronies. And who is the United States military? It's the Knights Templar, right? It's the uh I've noticed in my area that it's the a lot of the big the big rituals that are ran on me are committed by the Skull and Bones. So operating in the area that I'm in, I've noticed it's been the Skull and Bones and the spa- and then the police are like the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. When I confronted that police officer, so this is the auto accident that the ritual they ran on me, and this is, um, I haven't even documented this, but I'm doing it this time because I'm just sick of their. Uh, you know, I don't sit there and think about what I'm going to say and do next against these people, but I just I'm just living my life, but when they when they have these severe headaches, then it, it really pisses me off, you know, and it upsets you when you when you're supposed to be sleeping and you're up at 3 in the morning because your fucking head's fucking was hurting so bad and you had to go to bed and uh way earlier than expected and waste like yesterday was completely ruined. Anytime I'm trying to progress at, at my online sales, it's just like they just find ways to ruin it. It's just racism, right? It's like, you're a minority. We don't want you to fucking be anything. We want you fucking dead. We're going to try to kill you through the house system. Or we are going to kill you through the house system. And it's just kind of, it's like, all right, I'm going to just say something then because they're not stopping what they're doing and they're not going to change their ways. So, um... Anyways, this is the auto accident. What was I saying? Oh, God. I for, I just completely forgot what I was saying. Not right at the moment, but what I was trying to get back to what I was about to fucking say. Oh, my gosh. That's so annoying when that happens. <sighs> hmm. 
Why why was I going to say this talk about this in right now? I can't even remember. God, I can't even remember. It's like just probably a direct energy weapon. I don't that always happens when I'm doing this like I just get a complete blank and I'm like, "Oh, what was I just talking about?" like Um Okay, I was saying that I noticed the skull and bones were big on the rituals. Then I said, oh, okay, so what I was saying is the Scottish Rite were the police, because if you go to downtown Denver, they have a big Scottish Rite building, and then the police, they have the white and blue on their cars, um, and they also have like things that look like Scottish, the Scottish flag or the Is- Israeli flag on their cars. So what happened is, so obviously you know the police are Scottish, right? When you see those colors. So what happened with this car accident is that there was this one police officer and he's always like all friendly when you see him and all that. So I was like, I seen him after this accident. By the way, let me go back. When I was posting on Facebook, the the Denver Police Department showed up at... I had court in Jefferson County for another bogus-ass shit. Like, everything's all bogus. Go look at the fucking... Um, I don't even know what you would call it. The, 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 my record, my... It's not a criminal record because I've been... I, I was never convicted of any crimes. But I have, like, ten court cases that you could see that on. That I've... You look at all these cases and it was um, um, not guilty, case dismissed over and over again. You know, like, why would that be on my uh, because I'm being targeted, right? I don't know if they were just trying to lock me in prison and I just kept beating that. Like, I, I figure that's what that is. But it's fucking ridiculous, like, how hard they try to get me into prison. But luckily, uh, my level of intelligence is so high that... I was able to beat those court cases. But on another end, I almost feel like, are they, were they just trying to show me how the court system works? Because, like, on one end, it seems like that they were never going to lock me up. They were just trying to show me a bunch of shit. But anyway, because I just have to say that, because if I'm wrong, then these fucking queers in the fucking NSA and military, oh, he's, he's wrong, he's not that smart. Fucking piece. If you were any fucking smarter, you wouldn't even be participating in these evil ass programs. So you're the fucking dumbass, not me. No matter what I say. Because if you know about all this shit and you're willing to participate with this shit, then you're a fucking dumbass. And it doesn't matter how deep you go into something. Be a fucking man and then... Uh, Put your own life on the line. And well, I know I, I, hey, I'm putting my own life on the line. So, but anyway, I would see this one police officer. So, well, actually, let me, like I said, I was in court in Jefferson County. And all of a sudden, there were two Denver detectives there to talk to me. It was because of what I was. So, I've already been confronted over this content. And I don't know, like, I, re- I this is before I really knew about all this information. I really wish I would ask them, why are you there to talk to me? I didn't even ask them that question. I was just, like, so mind-fucked at that time. I was just like, oh, like, they're messing with me. And I don't know what's going on. And that was at a time even when I thought, oh, the China and I, China and America are going to go to war. And I had no clue even. That was before I even knew knew the real truth. But the big mistake I made with that, um, with those detectives is I should have said, well, why are you here? Like, you need to tell me why you came here to talk to me in a courthouse that's not even in your county. Like, that was pretty bizarre. Um, but then that was like not not much later is when then that, that um, black ops guy was in my hotel room when I was sleeping and I was woken up to a fucking black ops guy in the in the hotel room so then they did the car accident after that so this is the this is my car and then the person who hit me so at this car accident there was a bunch of symbolism I'm going to show real quick with that just for documentation even though no one sees this content 
and so they end up like it's just proof that they first they approach me in court the Denver Police Department detectives came for what I don't fucking know they had no because of what I what I was posting on Facebook go look at what I was posting on Facebook I was just documenting evidence I was just documenting um, secret society activity through the government the, why would that why would that call for the um Why would that call for the police to come talk to me? There's no reason. There's like, there's nothing said in that information. I think maybe they said, oh, well, this, we've seen what you post on Facebook. What did I post on? Go look at my Facebook. There's not really, I didn't say nothing like, oh, I'm going to go plant a bomb and blow up a building. I didn't say anything, nothing like that for, to get the local the police to be concerned about anything. It was just a it was just an intimidation tactic. Again, it's it's proof of you there's no free speech in this country. That's all that's all a lie. There's no freedom in this country. Anytime you try to you're free to go fucking harm yourself and the people around you. You're free to, you know, you're free to skydive. You're free to drink 20 cases of beer a month. You know, you're you're free to do drugs. Anything that you're free to kill yourself, you're free to do that. But anytime you you speak out or are um, for real change or are for real truth or or bring real attention to real issues, then um, no, you can't do that. You know what I mean? You're confined to talk about what they want you to talk about. But if you talk about the things that really matter, then then they show their true colors like you're not free we're going to we're going to send the police to intimidate you so then it was a progression so then they put the dude in my hotel room to scare me and then that just got me madder because it was like yeah at the moment they scared the living shit out of me because it was surprising but what my mom said was like she's like well anyone's going to be surprised if you wake up in your hotel room and and there's some guy in a military uniform in there. Of course, you're gonna, especially you don't have any weapons, or you're you're like you're not being violent, or you're not expecting any violence against you. Where you just wake up in your hotel room and there's a fucking guy in there in a black ops uniform, basically, in my opinion, ready to fucking kill you or threaten. Like, I mean, at that point, it's like either kill he. Like there's, there's always only a few steps away from killing me. Like I thought I was dying right there. You know what I mean? But so at that, after that, she's like, well, yeah, anyone's going to be afraid because I was like, oh, why was I so afraid? You know? But then I, I was like, yeah, you know, that is true when you're not expecting something like you're completely unprepared. So then that mentally prepared me for like, well, I'm going to do the videos then because if they're willing to, to almost basically kill me, like. What does it matter at this point? Like, if I'm that close to dying, I might as well just fucking do the content, I said. So then they updated even further with this car accident. And it wasn't like one day after another. It was like, they just do it when the ritual's right. So this is the dude's um, license plate. Who hit me. And if you notice, he has the and the reason why I photographed it is because he has the six 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 right in the center of the license plate. So when they gave me my cell phone number, my cell phone number has six 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 in it. And my nephew's like, "Oh, I just re when he called me the other day, he's like, oh, I just realized you had six six six. I go, yeah, when this like they've been like these people have been messing with me for for my whole life, and I didn't know it." So anyways, the guy who hit me, he was 666 on the license plate. And then if you, his January 11th, which is 111. And there's, there's a whole bunch of other shit to it. But if you come to the, um, monster energy drink, right? Cause everybody knows this part at least. Um, it's the the monster energy drink it's the number one right the the three claws it looks like the number one but it's the hebrew um symbol for the number six so on the monster energy drink it's six 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 or one 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 
So so he has on his because January is the first month. So on his license plate, just to just to be dicks, they have the double confirmation. That's why they do it. That's why they do did this like that. Well, I noticed it at the end of his digit, uh, uh, his uh, VIN number or whatever, it's 44. So that's interesting because that's the military number. But he, but to be dicks, and also actually that Mercedes logo, now that I think about it, it's like a, it's like a 666 as well because I, you know, it'd be interesting to break up the degrees of these, 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 um, the three degrees of, of that circle. But anyways, it's the pi. Now that I'm looking at that, now that I know more, it's the pi symbolism divided into three. So it's 33, 30, it's 33 degrees. And the crazy thing about this. So, and then it's anyways, it's six, six, six here. And then it's one, one, one there. And so the crazy thing about that is when the police came, they didn't even talk to me. They just all went around him and then they just, they didn't even ask me fucking anything. It was the weirdest interaction I've ever had with police because it was no interaction. It was like if they knew who I was and they knew what the fuck was going on and they just were like, Fuck that guy. You know what I mean? Like, basically, that's what they, like, they came up and they were just like, fuck, like, if you're the victim in a, in a accident, like, that's the person that you need to talk to, right? Or say, are you okay? They, they just left me standing on the sidewalk. I swear, when the police came, they just came and then they started directing traffic and then they went all around the guy and, like, and then they just didn't even talk to me for like 10 minutes. And they knew it would, they knew I was part of the accident. And then finally someone came up to me like, at least they didn't accuse me of being the person. I'm like, yeah, he fucking hit me. Like, at least they didn't say, usually what the, when I interact with the p police, no matter what the interaction is, they always say, um, I'm the criminal. Like every time, like no matter what the situation is, I'm like, so I don't even like being around the police because every time I have interaction with them, I'm the bad guy. No matter, like I could have a knife in my stuck in my fucking chest and I would be the bad guy to them. Like, I don't know why they come up and I, I think a lot of police are stupid and don't don't uh, even comprehend this information. But it was this time was weird how they just all didn't even talk to me and then. Finally, a traffic investigator came and I went in his van and he took my statement and I was telling him, yeah, it's a ritual. And he was like kind of listening to me. But as far as the regular police, they didn't even fucking get two words from me. I just said, well, you can see by the accident he hit me after like 10 minutes. They're like, OK, do you need do you need a do you need an ambulance? I'm like, Shit. and I'm thinking in my head, I go, it's a little late for that. Like if I was fucking. I'm like, no, hell no, I don't want to go in no fucking ambulance. Because that's the last place I want to go is to the hospital. But anyways, there was some weird ass shit that... The, this shit is ridiculous. So, this is right by my apartment. So... The tow truck came, which was AAA, which is 111, right? So he has 111 on the license plates. 111 is 666 in Hebrew. He has 666 on the license plates. My cell phone number has 666. AAA came to tow. I didn't call that. Now that I think about it, I didn't call the tow. They called the tow, and it was AAA, which was 666. Then you have the Scottish Rite Police who wear the uh, who are the white and blue like the Jewish flag like the Jewish six six six. So then the AAA, who's the white and red symbolism, he um are white, red, and blue, but he tows my car just right. I go well, my apartment's right here. You just take it and so they towed the car. The next day I woke up, my car was missing. I'm like, and I was like, had this really bad fucking headache, like bad, bad headache. 
so I was like knocked out and I was like, man, that fucked me up. Like, um, but then, so I must've slept through cause you would, I would have heard a tow truck, but they knew that the military knew that. So they're like, he's not, he's going to be knocked out. He's not going to be able to. So I woke up and my car was missing and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I called the car. This is the second time they illegally confiscated my vehicle, by the way. Um, I should fucking be suing the fucking, uh, Denver police department at this fucking point. I should have fucking documented all that shit that they done. Cause I don't have any documentation, document, documentation of the first time they took my car. I guess I have the, they, there ain't going to be no documentation of that. So there's nothing I could do about it. I, I should have video recorded it at the time. That's the good thing about people having the cell phones is that you could document shit. And I've noticed a lot of people win cases because of their video recordings. But it's like too late. I can't go back on that shit, you know. So anyways, the police. I'm not even going to get into the long story of all this shit. Like somebody wants to come and and, uh, have my back or take my story, then I'll give it then. But this is just I'm just going to move on because this is going to take forever. So the police officer that came, I go, hey, where's my vehicle? Oh, we have your vehicle. I go, what the fuck you mean you have my vehicle? So then the detective tried to call me. Oh, you were in a, uh, you were evading police. We tried to pull you over by Walmart, which is a Jewish logo now that I think about it. Um, and you didn't pull over and the cops were chasing you. I'm like, what are you talking about? So, good thing on the back of my car, I, ha- I got in a, a car accident, another one, uh, like I hit a pole and the back of my car has damage. I go, well, do you have video evidence of me running from the, oh yeah, yeah, we have a video of you you running from the cop. And I'm like, well, my, I have a license plate, how stupid. I said, well, look at, go look at that video evidence of the cop and you'll see that uh, basically, uh, you'll see that my that's not my car because my car is damaged in the back and whoever you're saying that you were chasing I doubt they have the same damage so then the detective was like oh yeah yeah you're right it's not the right car uh come get your car out of the hurry come get your car within 24 hours out of the impound or else you're going to be charged for it I'm like fuck you guys so when I go and get my car out of the impound, what they end up, they must have put, they must have fucking rigged the car because they could kill me in a car accident too. Because when I got the, when I turned on the na- the navigation, it was in French. Which if you watch that, um, which is the Knights Templar referencing and the Scottish Rider Freemasonry referencing because the police are the Scottish right. So, um, if you watch that Gamacha Effect News channel on on YouTube, he says all the time how the the uh, the the Jesuits. Um, I think he says the Je- the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry was formed in France or something like that, and then the and then he says the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry are the most Jewish ones, and then he says something about the Jesuits being in France. So when I got my vehicle, just to be, for them to show me who was involved and just to be assholes, when I turned on the navigation, it was all in French. And I'm, you got to go in the settings and change that. Cause I, when I went, I didn't even know how to change it back. And then I just went into the settings and it said language. I'm like, oh, so someone actually came in here and changed that. Like it was stupid. But anyways, when they gave me my car back, it was just a whole thing. It was weird because the, When I called the cops, they're like, we'll be right there. And then they came and wrote me a thing. Basically, oh, here, you need to talk to the detectives. So it went from me being a victim to some detectives wanting to talk to me again. So I got all, it was like, whoa, this is crazy. This is weird. Like, what the fuck is going on? And then I seen that detective or that police officer. And then I seen him again. And I said, you know what, dude? I said, every time I see, I go... I, this is like the third time I seen you one specific police officer. And I said, um, every time I see you, something happens to me. Like, and I got all pit. And this is when I started learning about the Scottish right and stuff. I said, who are, are you involved with the Scottish right? I confronted the police officer. Cause I seen him outside of my apartment again. 
It's like, hey, how's it going? I go, you know what, dude? Every time I see you, fucking something weird happens to me. And so I confronted him, and he didn't say nothing, and he just kind of, he turned a smile into just a straight face, and he didn't say anything, and he was with his little, this time he was with his little buddy, like if they were going to set him up to see me, because usually when I seen him, he was in his south, by, this time I seen him with his little uh, Hispanic slave cop, and uh, they didn't say anything, but they were kind of mean mugging me, and then that was when, then that same day, is when the bum pulled a knife out on me. So it was just like predictive programming. It was like, so that, that three times I seen that one police officer, three bad things. I can't even remember the first thing, but I, when I seen him, when I told him my car is missing and then they said, oh, we have your car, we'll be right there. And then they came to my apartment and then wrote me like a fucking, a notice to see a detective, it was him. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? The first time I seen him, something happened. I can't remember. And then the third time I seen him, a, a fucking bum pulled a knife on me and was trying to stab me. I have never seen that police. It, after that, I've never seen that police officer and I haven't had any action, interaction with the police. Like they've completely, every time I see a police officer now, they're all nice and friendly and smile. I, I haven't seen any of those bad police officers since then. Um, but I have had other weird things happen. But uh, oh, and then that, then the well, I guess it's different. But now I'm thinking the police officer pulled the gun on me a couple years ago. Went from a traffic stop to a police officer pulling a gun on me. <laughs>